Suppose like in school where kids are, then whether we like it or not, the kids there, they're cooking there together. And therefore, usually what the class thinks and appreciates, then of course, each one of them, he wants to show that he's also into it, a part of it as a child, because he doesn't want to run from it. He doesn't want to be... Um, left aside outside the general framework of the friends and so on and therefore he actually has to show that he admires even more than they do someone or something and so on meaning it's something natural it goes away as you grow afterwards we grow up and we come to an age, usually it's after school or at the end of school, where we're starting to disperse that we're not so closed in a classroom like in, suppose, elementary school. But afterwards, our horizons broaden and we start seeing also what's happening in the world and not everything is locked inside my class and I don't have to yield my opinion towards the opinion of the society I'm in and I have different other connections with people that I know and want to be with and so on. But still, the masses, they are needy of admiring something. And we also see on the media that they're the ones that are specially promoting it. And also different offices, ministries, and other businesses that that's their work that all shape public opinion and every time they feed the masses with different such values. Where is the borderline between a natural, normal, normative development and a place where it becomes not good, that it harms me, society? It depends, I'd say, Today we have to understand that nothing simply goes by or happens or appears simply so, but it's all under the control of governmental forces that invest a lot of strength and efforts into it, and they work on behalf of entire offices that work on shaping public opinion and every government in every country makes sure and is concerned about what's going on in the masses and how can we direct them and therefore we've reached a state that the media is so powerful because through them you can really influence and direct everyone up to the point of I don't know if it's up to the point of idealization, but we see that the masses are following it like sheep. What's the difference? It could be a teenager or an adult can be caught up in it and it could reach the level of worshipping and it could not happen to someone else, everyone. No problem to confuse everyone with it, including the most individualist people. I simply have to put in more efforts and influence them through other people. Through other people, no problem. But there is no person that doesn't admire someone or something that you can't influence him, that you can't reach him and influence him through the people that he admires. So much that it confuses him, a person has no opinion of his own. No one has. It's all formed by the environment. We talked a lot about the influence of society over a person. It all comes from the environment. And it's not something individualistic. How, how could it be? Where will a person take it from? He's born as an animal. And he gets all the rest from the environment. 
wherever the environment is stronger that also meets his inner qualities actually but it actually depends on the environment and if i want to influence someone i have no problem i only have to see what are his tastes habits what is he drawn to what is what is he inclined to from birth naturally and so on and then you can always choose a special environment that will pull him and work on him and he'll be included there like everyone is there some kind of a control mechanism that a person can adapt in order to see whether he crossed the border or not no only if he does it by an environment of his own which is strong enough in order not to fall under the influence of another environment